Hey, it's Akata Wolf, and today I am attempting a pretty special build. Um, I have been working on this in creative and got it working the way that I want it to go. So this, I am in the winter wonderland, maybe you can see right at the top there, I put this uh, barrier all the way around here. Jump into first person, put this barrier all the way around here mainly so that I don't get attacked by strays um, or polar bears while I am working because I'm going to be concentrating pretty hard. This whole build here, this, this hole, this is going to be underneath the ground. This is a 25 by 21 area. And drum roll, please. Do, 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 do. I am going to be creating Silent Night. So um, when when you walk into the build, I'll probably have the building itself over here, maybe. But essentially, I want people to uh, enter somewhere in the center, and then. Uh, there will be a line that runs up and down and up and down and up and down and I've got all the timings right and all the notes and um, uh, the instruments and all that and it's going to be sweet. Hope it, I hope it pulls off the, the way that I think it's going to. If it does, that will be epic. So the stuff that we need, I may have miscounted, but I'm fairly sure that we're going to need 46 notes for Silent Night. Uh, we're going to, so we're going to need 46 note blocks times two because I'm going to have both the flute and the chimes. So it's going to sit on clay blocks, and then also ice. So I'm gonna need 92 note blocks, I'm gonna need 75 repeaters, I'm gonna need a whole lot of redstone dust, um, at least 76. Um, I didn't bother calculating that exactly, but it's gonna be a lot of redstone dust, but I've got enough for that. Um, and that's basically it. That's obviously going to need to be more stuff for the trigger mechanism, but I will, I'll figure that one out later. So let's get to building. So essentially this is, this is the basic mechanism for it. So we have block here. Let's do the trigger. Trigger's going to go up there. We have a block there. And another block here, another block here. Let's pl just play three notes really quickly. On each of these blocks here, we are going to have our repeaters and then dust, dust. And then, because we don't start on this one, this is the initial triggering thing. We have our note blocks next to each other there. And just to make it obvious, let me come around this side. Just to make it a little bit more obvious, we'll do three. And then on top of each of the dust, we have this. So that's the that's the basic setup, except that I'll have note blocks on each side because you can change the sound of the note block by what you put under it. So if I put a stone button here, Let's jump up so we can see. So those trigger bang, bang, bang. But if we do it slower like that, hear that? So it's directional sound, but we can do that. We, with, with this setup here, we can figure out the timing fairly precisely. Well, right on, actually. Um, it will be a little faster, and unfortunately there's no reverb, which, you know, we, we can't hold notes or whatever. It's just the same length of the note. But we were to change this, so it goes, let's go to 11. So it's already on one, so one, 11 and then 13 and then back to 11 let's do one more and let's put this one to 8 
let's put this one to four. Okay. There's a little bit of lag on the server, so it is difficult to put down things exactly, but so we got those notes, and that's the setup. Put that say at two. You see? So I have got a whole lot of block placing to go. I will I'll figure out a way to let you know exactly um, what my notation is and blocks and everything so that you can create this in your world. But for now, it's time to go. So now that's all out of the way. We start here with two, and then we miss every second block. <laughs> As I said that, we miss every second block. So miss a block and put one down and so on right the way to the end. Then when we get to the end, remember we've set our 25 by 21 area, come like this, like this, and then, so we have two blocks in the middle, and then we start our line back this way. And then we just follow that along on each of these. We get to this line here, and this is gonna be in the way, but I'll do with that in a second, I just want to get it so get you to understand so it comes around this way and then we're literally just following the same pattern right the way along all right time for a build montage <laughs> have what looks like this. So basically we are creating a line. So it starts, comes around. You'll see it when we put the redstone in, but it is a snake. So you could have it be a straight one. I have made this in, I've designed it so that it is as kind of square as possible. So because the further away it is, the softer it is. So the player, you either have to use a minecart or something or walk along while it's playing or something like that. Um, but yeah, so we've got this. Now we need to put repeaters on everything. And I like to do this in bulk just to make it easier. So it's the direction that we're, so the music is going to start here and it's in this direction. So let's go. When we get to these corners here, we don't do anything until we hit this one. And it doesn't go that direction. It goes this direction. So we go back. The, we're always placing the way that the line is going to face. Seventy-five redstone repeaters all in place. I haven't done any of the timings yet. That will come. The next step, go back to well, you can go backwards if you prefer, but I like to make it easy on myself. So then in each of these spots here, we're just gonna put some redstone. And then it comes up and around like so. So we've got this redstone line coming all the way around here. Now if redstone is really tight, you don't necessarily, or you don't need it where there's going to be gaps between where we have blocks. That will make sense later. So you don't necessarily need all of this, particularly if you have uh, longer timings. But for now, I'm just going to put it everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
So this is how it looks so far. We basically have one giant redstone line that snakes its way all around here. Like so. Next up, we need to go on to each of these. Starting over here. And we need solid blocks. Okay. We need solid blocks in between. So you can either crouch and face the redstone or however you want. This is an annoying part. <laughs> discovered that you can just place it straight on the redstone so when I was doing it in creative it couldn't crouch and place it so that was ah oh, actually I built this in creative in Java that would be why This is the setup. It's essentially a line of repeater, block, repeater, block, and underneath it is alternating the redstone block, redstone block. And then we have this line snake around here because it forms one continuous line. Next up, we are putting in our note blocks. So the note blocks are going to, this is where it changes. So at the moment, it's been a standard setup, but from now it changes based on your music. So how, how long there are between notes and all that, and the, the timing of the notes, that all depends on where you place your note blocks. So I'm going to put this button here and let's just check that the line works. So we come right the way around all the way around and all good you can get up high and check for yourself if you would like so now the first note block is going to go here so we'll do the tuning later uh, first thing is to just get the get the note blocks in place and then we work on the timing so we leave this one here and then i have i've got my own notation this is the plan for the repeaters so for example, we have two with a note block, four with a note block. The yellow is where there's no note block. So pause the video, take a screenshot, whatever, and use these timings to get the exact ones for Silent Night. So this follows left to right as if you're going in a straight line. So it goes two, four, two, two, four, 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 two, two. So imagine it is a line. So even though it looks like I kind of snake around, I guess each second one is flipped if you were to do a bird's eye view of the actual repeaters. And I did it this way so that it doesn't matter what shape you, that you do, it's easier to figure out. Basically we have, oh wow, the server's slightly laggy so it's gonna take a while to get this. So um, I have four, the note, and then I have what I'm calling two dot which means it's two, and then there's no note there. So then the next one is here, and it is a two. So I'm gonna get the first couple in place so you can see how it works. it's not going to make a huge amount of sense if I do if I do that so under each of these I'm going to have this one as my ice stream so on one one side one one side of the thing I'm going to have it be ice and the other side be clay so if we put this on here so it gives that sort of a sound. So on each of these, I'm just going to take all these out and do that because <laughs> I was playing it as a test and because it was on stone, it produced a snare sound, which is mm. not what we're after. And I wonder how the snow where the snow buildup is going to affect my contraption. It's all going to be under underwater 
but it's all going to be undercover soon anyway, but hopefully it won't mess things up too much. So let's give this a go. You know what? Just because it's the test, I will I'll bump up the notes on this. So this one's 11. Actually, I don't remember whether we made a noise with it already. So that's one. Okay, so the snow is going to affect this. Because if it builds up, you're not going to be able to hear the notes. Okay, that's good to know. So, there we go. That's essentially how it works. It's snowing. So that's suboptimal. So the snow is all part of the fun, but it messes up with the uh, note blocks. So we've got... So we've got some sounds going. And we're just going to work on the timing. Alright, so remember, whenever you put down a block, then it, it you need to put whatever sound you want underneath it. So for example, it's a two there, and then this one here, there's going to be a note block here. So I'm doing ice on this side. That's going to be a two. So it makes that sound as opposed to that sound. So that's how you change the musical instruments by changing the block that it sits on. So actually, if you put it here, see it does a bass drum. comes time for testing. Um, I expect that there might be a couple that I get wrong. Either I've placed them on the wrong side of the blocks, like so instead of it being there, probably needs to be there, but this is why we test.
So slightly off, that's fine. Um, we just need to go back, go over our notes and see where the problems are. But that is one of the downsides of playing with something that is so um, challenging. So I finished the testing and it was just some minor matters, things like these uh, these blocks here. I don't know why I didn't think of it, but if you put them next to this part here, then it's not going to work. It has to be on this side. So that and there was one or two timings that I got wrong. So let's have a listen. Now it won't have the tune, but it will have the correct beat. Excellent. Okay, so the next step is we want to double up the sounds. So on on the line, let me face the way it's facing. So the line is facing this way. Wherever there is a note block on one side, we want to have a note block on the other side. So we're going to do clay blocks. So we had packed ice on one side and now we have clay on the other, so it will make that sort of a sound. See? So let's replace them just so that we have the correct sounds. So we go down the line and get all that done. Of course, if you had lots of blocks of the same sort, you would literally just do clay down the center here, eyes down the center there. that we've done all that we test the timings again and then we can start tuning it Excellent, now we can start tuning. So the way that we tune these, we have to make sure that we tune both of them the same, otherwise they'll be at different notes. These are the note values for Silent Night. So this is the actual tune of Silent Night. It goes left to right on each row. So I've tried to match up the notes with the plan. So you can overlay this one on the plan for the repeaters and this goes left to right on each line so it doesn't 
snake. So it goes 11, 13, 11, 8, 11, 13, 11, 8, instead of going 13, 16. It doesn't snake around as if you were looking at a bird's eye view of what I have built. So like if you know Silent Night, obviously it goes Silent Night, Holy Night, which is the 11, 13, 11, 8, 11, 13, 11, 8, and then repeats, etc. So take a screenshot of this one and use it for tuning the note blocks. So remember when we place it down, it's already at one. So the, there's 24 notes. It's already at one. So this one, so we start off with 11. So it's at that note. Now we do that for every single note twice. So that's 11. And this one here is 13. If you do make a mistake or you lose count or whatever, I find the best thing to do is just break the jukebox and place it again, start count from there. All right, I'll be back when it's done. So it's all done. Let's give it a test and see how it sounds. There you go. That's how to make Silent Night in Minecraft. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I will see you in the next one.